In this video, you will learn to find the area of a triangle and to find an unknown measurement of a triangle given the area. Now to understand our triangle formula, you have to realize that a triangle is basically half of a parallelogram. So our parallelogram formula was area equals base times height. So for a triangle is half of that, it's a half of a parallelogram, so the formula for a triangle is one half times the base times the height. So you have one over two times base times height. And we see that typed up right here, area equals one half base times height. And to illustrate this, why it's one half, imagine we have this triangle right here. We have a height of nine inches, and we have a, um, the base or the length of 12 inches. Now if you imagine this, um, this triangle being duplicated, and we put the, the duplicate up here on the top, Notice we now have a complete rectangle, which is a parallelogram, right? So what we have is with the original triangle, that's one half of the rectangle. And a rectangle was base times height, nine times 12. But for the triangle, it's gonna be one half of that. So we have one half times 12 times nine. And one half of 12 is six, six times nine is 54. So the area is 54 and the units will be inches squared. So this works for right triangles, but also for any type of triangle as well. So here we have the bottom is 12 inches and the height is nine inches. So again, if we imagine duplicating this, this triangle and then putting that duplicate up here, notice what we have is a parallelogram where the base is 12 and the height is nine. So for the parallelogram, it would be 12 times nine, but for the triangle it's one half of that Right, it's one half the entire thing. So we would do one half times 12 times nine. So the formula is one half base height. And again, we plug in a 12 and a nine for the base and height. So one half of 12 is six, six times nine is 54. So again, the area would be 54 inches squared. Now just be careful um, when you're trying to find the height that you're getting the correct number. So for here, we have an example where we're told the bottom is 11 and this part right here is seven inches. So again, the formula is area equals one half times base times height. So just remember that the height is gonna be perpendicular to the base, meaning it's gonna be a 90 degree angle to that bottom. So if you're given like side lengths of eight inches over here and then let's say nine inches over here, okay, those lengths don't matter. Okay, those would be distractors. They don't help us with finding the area. What we're concerned with is the vertical straight up and down height from the vertex down to the base, to the bottom. So make sure you're getting the correct numbers if you're given other numbers other than these two right here. Um, so here the base would be 11 and the height would be seven. So when you plug that in, we have one half times 11 times seven. Well, one half, um, 11 times seven is 77. So you do 77 divided by two, that's one half of 77. And if you do that correctly, you're gonna get 38 and a half inches squared. So when you're taking the one half, by the way, you can do one half of just one number, or you can multiply these numbers first and take one half of that. So with multiplying, multiplication is commutative, meaning it doesn't matter which numbers you multiply first. So in this case, if you multiply 11 times seven first, it might be a little easier is we use 77 and then times one half or divide by two, same thing. That would be maybe a little quicker to work with. So it's up to you, whatever is more convenient and easier for you, you can multiply in any order. Here's another example. We are given uh, this part to be five, this part down here is 12, which by the way, over here, the hypotenuse would be 13 in this example. And again, the base and the height are gonna be the parts that are perpendicular, that are 90 degrees to each other. So 12 would be your base, three or uh, five would be your height. So in your formula, you plug those in. So the triangle formula is one half times base times height. So you do one half times 12 times five. So again, you can multiply one half uh, by 12 first or do 12 times five first. It doesn't matter how we do it. Um, if you do one half of 12 first, that's probably quicker to do. One half of 12 is six, six times five is 30. 
So the answer is 30 inches squared for the area. All right, so make sure you can use your triangle formula. And in example three, we have a more, uh, more complex shape that we're dealing with. So this shape here, we are trying to find the area of this entire thing. Now this entire shape is made up of two smaller shapes. Notice we have a rectangle on the right, and then we have a triangle over here on the left. We can find the area of both parts separately, and then we can add the areas together to find the entire area. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to find the area of the triangle, and then add that with the area of the rectangle. So what is the area of this triangle? Well, a triangle uh, area is found by taking one half times the base times the height. So looking here just at the triangle on the left, okay, we have the base already. The base is four meters. The height is given to us as well, but it's over here on this side. If this part over here is six meters, then this part over here, since we're dealing with a rectangle, um, would also be six meters. So the height would be six, the base is four, multiply those together, one half times six times four. Um, one half of six is three, three times four is 12. So that area would be 12 meters squared. That's the area. Now to find the area of the rectangle over on the right, we can do base times height. So here we have eight times six, and that gives you the area. Eight times six is 48. So the area of the rectangle is 48 meters squared. We put those two areas together, 48 plus 12, and that gives us 60. So the area of this entire shape is 60 meters squared. So if you see a complex shape, you can always break it apart into smaller shapes that we know how to find the area of, and then add those areas up separately. And that's what we see here in example three. Now our next example, we are trying to find an unknown measurement if you're given the area. So if you're told the area is 48 inches squared and you're trying to find this height, how do we do that? Well, to do that, we can use our area formula for a triangle, which is area equals 1 half times base times height. We can plug in what we know. We know the area is 48, so in place of the A, we can replace that with a 48. And the base is 12, so in place of B, we can put in a 12. So what we have is 48 equals 1 half times 12 times H. So right here, when it says 1 half of 12, that is the same thing as 12 divided by 2, which would be 6. So we have 48 equals 6 times the height. Now to solve for height, we can get rid of the 6 being multiplied by doing the inverse, which is division. So we can divide both sides by 6. We now have h equals 48 divided by 6, which is equal to 8. So this missing height right here would be 8 inches. Here's one more example like that. And let's see if you can do this one on your own. The area, we're told, is 24 inches squared, and we're trying to find the length of the base. So try this one out, see how you do, and then come back to this video once you have your answer to see if you did it correct. So to do this, uh, you'd have the area formula, area equals one half times base times height. So the area is given to us as 24. So in place of the A here, we can plug in a 24. The height is eight. So in place of H, we can put in the number eight. So now we have 24 equals one half times base times eight. Now remember with multiplication, we can move numbers around and it doesn't matter the order in which we multiply. So we can do one half times eight first if we wanted to. One half of eight is eight divided by two or four. So what we have is 24 equals four times the letter B. Now to solve for b, the base, we can get rid of the four being multiplied. And we do that by doing the inverse of multiplying, which is divide. So divide both sides by four. We now have base equals 24 divided by four, which is equal to six. So the length of the base down here is equal to 
six inches. So in this lesson, we have learned how to find the area of a triangle, and we also learned how to find a missing side length if given the area of the triangle. And that concludes our lesson for today. We will see you next time.